dear pupils, I'm Olga Vaskan and welcome to our virtual English class. So let's start. Look at the screen. There are some pictures there. Do you have any ideas what they refer to? You are right. They refer to Moldova. This is the topic we're gonna focus on today. I live in Moldova. But before we start, I want to ask you some questions. Do you know what the capital of Moldova is? Are there fortresses in Moldova? What is the name of a famous festival? What is Moldova famous for? If you don't, during this lesson we will find out answers to these questions. So, let's go! And we will start with new vocabulary. The first word is bank of the river. So, this is the river and this is the bank of the river. Look, the bank of the river is very green. Okay. The next word is fortress. Fortress. Cetate. There is a fortress on the bank of the river. Let's move on to the next word. Field. Look, there is a nice field here in the picture. There are beautiful fields in Moldova. The next word is thick walls. Thick walls. Peret grosh. The walls of Soroka Fortress are very thick. Tower or towers if we are talking about more than one. There are two round towers. So, there are two round towers. Apple pie. Mmm, it's yummy. My granny makes tasty apple pies. Prejitura kumar sau plecinta kumar. Apple pie. Now, as we know the meaning of the word, let's take a short test. Look at the picture and name the word. Let's begin. Thick walls. Very good. Apple pie. I was sure that you will remember this word. Fortress. Very good. Fortress. Tower. Good job. Field. Excellent. Bank of the river. Very good. You are very good at memorizing the words. But let's test if you remember the rules about one and many things. Here I have prepared something for you. Here we have a picture. What do you see in the picture? A book. Yes, you are right. And when we have only one book, we say there is a book on the desk. There is a book on the desk. Let's look to another picture. Let's count how many books we have there. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four books. And we say there are books on the desk. So, remember, book and books. This is the rule we know about one and many things. But there are some words in the English language that do not follow this rule of taking S in the end. They change their form as a whole. So let us remember the words. The first word is a child. Un copil. But we say two children. We cannot say two childs. That's not correct. Let's see how these words work in an example. There is a child in the yard and there are two children in the room. The next word to remember, which is also an exception, is a man, three men. We simply change A into E. Let's see 
some examples. There is a man in the town. There are three men in the town. So, man, one, and man, two. And the last word to remember is a woman. But let's count how many women we have here in the picture. One, two, three, four. And if you were attentive, I have already mentioned four women. One woman, four women. Let's see an example. There is a woman in the room and there are four women outside. So, this is the rule. And now, let's move on and practice a little bit, but not before we try to remember all these words once again. So, child, children, man, men, woman, women. Now, as you know the rule, let's pass to the next activity. During this activity, we have to fill in the gaps with there is a or there is an when we are talking about one thing and there are when we are talking about more than one thing. Two, three, four, ten and so on. So, let's start. Here we go with sentence one. Oh, look at this cat. It's so pretty. Mm. What should I use here? There are a cat? No, we have to use there is a cat on the carpet. The next sentence, leaves on the ground. Hmm? There are leaves on the ground. Very good. The next sentence, a kite up in the sky. Look at the picture. Yes, there is a kite up in the sky. The next sentence, children in the park. Let's count how many children do we see in the picture. One, two. Okay, that's very easy. There are children in the park. Flowers on the table. Right you are. There are flowers on the table. A lamp in the bedroom. Mm, what should I use here? And you are right again. There is a lamp in the bedroom. Awesome! Good job, everyone! But if you have made some mistakes, you can rewatch the video and try again. Now we will continue with the dialogue. Let's listen to a dialogue about Moldova and Soroka Fortress, but while listening, try to remember as much as you can, because in the end you will take a short quiz. So, let's go! Hello, Kate! Glad to see you! Hi! Glad to see you too! Is it true that you live in Moldova? Yes, I do. I adore my country. Could you tell me more about this piece of land? I'll do it with pleasure. Well, is Moldova a big country? No, it isn't. It's small, but it's very beautiful. What is so beautiful in Moldova? Our forests and fields and rivers. Interesting. You know, my mother says Soroka Fortress is fantastic. That's true. It stands on the bank of the river Nistru. There are four round towers and an entrance tower. The walls of the fortress are three meters thick. Oh, it's an old building then. Yes, it is. And a lot of tourists visit it every year. Great! When I have time, I'll visit it for sure. That's a good idea, 
You will like it. Thank you very much, Kate. Goodbye. It was my pleasure. All the best. And now let us check how well you could retain the information and take the next quiz. Let's start. Question 1. Is Moldova a big country? No, it isn't. It's small, but very beautiful. What is beautiful in Moldova? Could you remember? Yes, the fortresses, the forests, fields and rivers. Very good. Does Soroka Fortress stand on the bank of the river road? I think yes. No? I'm wrong? Yes. No, it doesn't. It stands on the bank of the river Nistru. Right, you are. Remember, on the bank of the river Nistru, not road. How many towers does the fortress have? I think three. No? How many? Well, it has four round towers and the entrance tower. You are right. Are the walls thick? They are. And they are three meters thick. Good job, everyone. You have a great memory. One of the questions I have mentioned at the beginning of the lesson was about a famous Moldova festival. Are you curious to find out about it? So, let's move on to the reading session. And here we will read a short text about National Apple Festival. While reading, try to remember as much as you can, because you know that in the end an activity is waiting for you. Let's begin. Do you know that every year in September there is a National Apple Festival in Soroka? You can buy green, red, yellow apples and tasty apple pies there. It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. A band plays beautiful music. There are a lot of men, women and children. They have a lot of fun. This was the text. And now let us answer some questions and see how well could you retain the information. Let us fill in the missing word. Let's begin. The National Apple Festival is in, I think, Chisinau or Belt? No? You're right. It's in Soroka. Very good. Let's move on to the next question. The festival is in, I think, somewhere in December? No, it's not correct. It's in September. Very good. The festival starts at, I think, 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm wrong again? Yes, it's, it starts at 10 o'clock. People can buy tasty at the festival. I think apples. Oh, I'm right. Very good. There are a lot of... And here I have many words. And you're right. Men women and children. A plays beautiful music. I think a girl or a boy. No, that's not correct. Hmm, again I'm wrong. A band plays beautiful music. People have a lot of money. No? <laughs> yes, you're right. People have a lot of fun. Well done everyone, but if you have made some mistakes, you can rewatch the video and have another try. Let us wrap up the things that we have discussed during the lesson. Today at the lesson we talked about Soroka Fortress and fortresses in general. We have read a text and found out the name of a famous national festival and we have discussed about 
famous and beautiful places to see in Moldova. That is all for today. Love your country. Thank you. Goodbye.